Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to Lost Island. Today we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. We're gonna be doing one of the boss fights, but not one of the bosses from this map. We're gonna be using that new little platform that we set up for our little boss arena. And we're gonna be doing probably the, I think we're gonna try the Alpha Broodmother. And I was gonna use some of the Shadow Mains that I had from Genesis 2. Took a trip over there and couldn't find them anywhere and realized we totally got wiped when we were on that map and I lost all my Shadow Mains. The thing is, I must have taken in some of my breeders because I don't have them anywhere over there. I searched all of, all the storage, all the storage, all the cryopods, everything. And it turns out this one is not even one of the breeders like I thought it was. Here, let me grab one of the soul traps real quick and I'll show you. Ah, uh, dude, I am so disappointed. You have no idea. I thought that I was set with shadow mains because, man, those things are such a pain to tame. You know, you got to sneak up on them, slip one of the fish into their back pocket. Hopefully that they don't attack you. And if I had the breeders like I thought I did, it'd be super simple to breed up another army. But this one, this is a wild level 108. It's not even one of my high level ones. So we are in a bad situation. <laughs> we actually need to go over and team two more of those. We're not doing that today though, because the dinos that are out there now, dude, they are so crazy with the colors for the holiday event. So what I have planned is we're gonna take in probably some of our wrecks. And the thing with the Rex is, while I was over there, like I said, I was cleaning out all the crowd pods. Dude, I found a whole bunch of saddles on our Rex that I had over there. The Rex were lower level than the tech Rex we have now, so I killed them off. But you can see we got some really good saddles, and we got a bunch of 120 armor saddles. So I'm thinking I got a blueprint somewhere. Somewhere? Because we have a whole bunch of them, and these look like ones I got out of drops. And I checked over here, and I don't have anything besides that 102 armor saddle. So yeah, see, and that's the uh, Senate one. So it's going to be a lot higher resources for building it. And I think, if I remember right, these Mastercraft ones were fairly cheap to build. I mean, it's also 20 more armor. So that's something we'll look at getting next time we're over there. Like I said, we have to get some of the Shadow Mains. But for today, we're going to take in, I think, four or five wrecks should be fine. And we've already got the 100 armor saddles on them, so they should be okay. Where am I going? Not there. Tech Rex. Do you want to try the Tech Rex or do you want to try the Allosaurus? Two, four, six, eight, nine. Tell you what, I don't know how big of an area we have to spawn them in because we haven't had a boss fight over there. And I'm not too sure how big the bubble is. I know it's a lot smaller than one of the uh, obelisk. So let's try the Allosaurus first. We'll see how that goes. And then if we get wiped for some reason, we'll take in the Rex next. And they should have all good health on them. So there's one, two, three, four. Five. You want to take five? We'll take eight. How about that? We'll take eight of them. We'll go down on the Ravager, and then that way we can throw them out and see how much we can get on the space down there. I think I'm going to just wear this in case something happens. I don't really want to use my good flak and stuff. Today's kind of like a testing day. I really want to get this sorted out because... I want to get a tech replicator and all that set up so we can make some tech stuff here. We've got a little bit of element, but not much. And I want a real easy way to be able to farm element and stuff, right? Without having to do the baboon fight. Dude, that is a horrible fight. I do not want to have to deal with again. We're pretty good on water. Let's eat a little bit of food. So what I think we'll do is we'll take him down there, leave him just kind of like on the wood area. And that should be good enough. And then okay, we'll just jump down. We'll be fine. And that way we can go ahead and see how this works out. I'm hoping, uh, dude, I really hope it works out good. Even with the Allosaurus. So if it works out with eight Allosaurus, then we should be able to do it with just a couple of wrecks. I'll tell you what, let's leave you right here. It shouldn't be that big of an area. And how big are you guys? Fairly small, so that should be fine. I really just need, really need to make sure all of their toes are inside of the radius, right? Because I think that's what messed us up whenever we did the Alpha Dinopithecus fight, is I had some of the wrecks, their little toes were sticking out, and they didn't get taken into the boss fight with us. Dude, these are actually the good size. Maybe use these instead of Shadow Mains. I mean, these guys are like little mini wrecks, too, and that's what? That's eight of them. We still got plenty of room. Oh, you gotta level up. Oh! <gasps> 
You got a bunch of level ups. Oh, dude, we can't take you. I think... Oh, this is a breeder. Dude, I almost messed up so bad. Where's my other breeder at? It must have got mixed up whenever I was bringing them over from our little cave over there. All right, so we're going to take in seven, right? Is that seven? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. All right, so we'll leave you. Oh, dude, that was almost a bad day. And we'll leave all that stuff, too. And then whenever we come back, we'll grab it from him. But I have everything in here already, so we should be good to go. It's just a couple of our artifacts and then some of the dino parts we have. We've got a ton of this stuff already anyways. So let's jump in and see how this works out. And let's see. Oh, dude, that is perfect size, man. Oh, so we got this whole area. We could definitely fit some Rex up in here for a boss fight, too. Because we got the Megapithecus and stuff that we can also do. So we don't have to do the same fight over and over. Ah, oh, dude, that is fantastic, man. All right. <gasps> Dude, where are we at? Oh, that's not a good thing. Where's all of our Allosaurs? And where's the Broodmother? <gasps> Two, four, six, seven. All oh, seven died. That's not supposed to happen. Oh, dude, it's bugged. That's got to be bugged. Where are we even at? We're still on the island, okay. I think our islands are that way. Where's the obelisk? Dude, it's almost nighttime, too. That is a horrible time to be stuck out here in the middle of nowhere. I can't believe, and I don't have any weapons on me. I didn't, well, I mean, I didn't expect to... I didn't expect to be thrown under the map and then back on top of the map. There's a green obelisk. So there's our other base. Is there any raptors around? Oh, dude. So I think what we can do is... Hmm. Well. I can harvest some stuff up for canoe. I'm going to have to... <laughs> dude, it's like we're starting all over again. I'm going to have to make... A pick and an axe, because we need some we need some wood, we need some thatch, and I need to get some hide. Wasn't there some chops up here? I'll get a couple spears. One or two of them should give us plenty of hide. Dude, I thought that was something coming for us. And then I can make a canoe. I think I'll have to go back to the green obelisk and then teleport over, because even if I make it out to our islands, dude, there's no way to get up on the on the cliff. Hmm, that's something I need to address, like, right away, is making some type of walkway going up. Dude, I can't believe we just lost all our- oh, man, we almost lost our breeder one, too. If I wouldn't have caught that he had a level up and looked and saw it was wrong. Alright, so I'm gonna have to find- is there any stones? There's a stone. That is definitely not how I expected today to go. Dude, we spent so much time building that platform. I'm going to have to look and see if it's just something that's bugged on Lost Island right now. It's got to be. Because I know it works on the other maps. That was the whole point of having the S plus transmitters. Is so that you can do box fights from your base, you know? What do we need, man? We need... Oh, dude. Fiber. We've almost got enough of that. So I need a little bit more wood. A ton of thatch, and then I need to make up some spears. Probably just use spears on the Miss Chops. Oh, we need some. We don't need stone. <laughs> I'm trying to use my hot bar. Oh, man. Dude, if I would have brought the Rex like I was going to, that would have been even worse because breed nose takes forever, and then I was going to throw those new saddles on them because they're higher level. Oh, dude. Yeah, that would have been, been horrible. All right, tell you what. Let me get this stuff kind of sorted out. Get a canoe made. Try not to get killed by a raptor, which that might actually be the easiest way to get back anyways. I wonder if I should do that. It's quicker to make a storage. 
I know where we're at. We're over here on Griffin Isle. Let's do that. I'm gonna set my stuff over here. Let's do it on the beach. And then I'll just make something mad. I'm sure we can find some... Watch. This will be the one time we can't find raptors. We can't find nothing to kill us. It's gonna be all dodos. I'm gonna have to... <laughs> I have to punch some dodos get them mad. Or I could always drown, too. Alright. There is a tech pair sword. That might work. One thing I'm worried about, man, is our clothes. Because, I mean, that stuff's... It's not exactly cheap to make. Plus, we finally got a color, man. I know it's all blue. It's simple to make. I don't know why I'm eating. Alright, I guess in the water. Try to find a Megalodon. Oh, dude, that is so horrible, man. That's something... I bet the the map, right? Whenever they made the map, it's probably at a different elevation and stuff than the island map. That's probably why we spawn underwater. You're supposed to spawn... I don't know if you go into a boss arena or if it's just on land. But we definitely should not have spawned... I mean, we were even under the, under the ocean. Hey, buddy, how about a midnight snack, man? I know, I know. We normally don't meet like this. We'll see if I can either knock you out, or you'll kill me. Are you running away? I was gonna say, that's kinda weird. Apparently you can use your net launcher on these guys too, I heard. Somebody left me a comment in one of my videos about that. So that's something we'll have to try next time we go to Tame One. Dude, I am so glad I set up my... My beds over here. I put uh, two bunk beds out. Why is it only showing one? I thought bunk beds were supposed to have two beds each. Well, interesting day. <laughs> oh, dude, tell you what, arc, man, arc always happens. All right, what are we gonna do for clothes? Let's grab wing, man. Hmm. What do we have to wear? Let's just put on. We'll just wear some ghillie for right now. So that's definitely not gonna work out for today. That is uh definitely not gonna work. So. Something else we can do. While we're here, it is kind of nighttime, though. I'll tell you what. What time is it? It'll be morning before too long. I'm going to hop on the Griffin. I'm going to fly over, grab my stuff, and then I want to show you something else I'm kind of working on. It'll be daytime by then. It's something with that island and down here. It's... You'll see. You'll see. Let me get over there, get my stuff, come back. I'll see you in the morning. And then, on the way back, we'll take a look down there and see what we can do about maybe putting some... I don't know, even just a rope ladder going all the way up will be an easy way to be able to get our, you know, up from down there in case something happens like this again. Which, I mean, I don't plan on it, but it happens. Alright, so it is morning time. Had no problem finding my stuff. You know, you got that whole death marker thing. <laughs> it was all right there. So what we're going to end up doing is right out off of this, we're going to have a huge little dock that goes out, and we're gonna have stuff on both sides. This is gonna be our, our area here for our water tames. Well, I'll tell you what. It's not bath time, man. Stay out of the water. And I think the main way we're gonna be able to keep them safe is we're gonna put a a force field down here. Maybe two. I'll have to see how big it is. But I don't wanna have to build walls for everything. Just having a force field to keep stuff out. So that's what I have planned for down here. And then I think what I'll do is maybe I'll just put a rope ladder off the side down here for right now. Just in case, like I said, something like that happens again, and we need to get back. And let's leave the griffin here. Let me show you something else. Seems how our plans got all messed up for today anyways. You have some soul traps you do. Oh, dude, I am so glad we got our breeder. And it kind of makes me want to go up top and see where our other breeder is. As long as we got both of them, we'll be good, because we can't get any more of those. They're over on Genesis 1, a map that I do not want to ever go to again. And we got ours off of Fjordor. Oh, good news about that, though. So the Fenrirs and a lot of the portals and stuff are going to be staying. It's, like, official. So that is awesome, man. I'm kind of curious what else they did for that map. You know, left in and stuff. But, as you can see here, that would be an easy bridge to, uh, or gap to bridge there. And I was originally thinking about putting our greenhouse down here. Then decided against it. But... 
Dude, you can put zip lines. It actually reaches from over there to here. I tried stringing it from over there up to our base. It's too far. But since it works right here, I was kind of wanting to set up a little breeding area and stuff. We could definitely do it over here and get over here with the Ravager and stuff. I don't have any other way to get up there right now, but up there is fairly flat. We should be able to build a pretty good size, like, dino breeding storage area and stuff. And then we can use a zip line to get across. I know, I know we got the teleporters and stuff, but dude, you got to think outside of tech all the time, you know? This is kind of the fun stuff, man. I don't know, zip lines are just are pretty awesome. I was going to say, please don't tell me I'm stuck over here now. <laughs> I have to swim across. Don't have the... Oh, wait, we got the griffin, right? We do. Let's go ahead and use him to get up there. So yeah, I'm uh I'm surprised that the zip line reached all the way over here. Take you and you back. Well we can use that. We'll set up a better way for us to get across, a little bit safer, and then maybe do a small little elevator build to get up here as well. And then up here, we'll clear out a lot of the trees and stuff, and build a two-tiered kind of like a little shack up here for the dinos and stuff. You know, have some some ramps and stuff down there. Maybe that'll be the outside. Up here will be the inside. Because I like keeping some of them out on display, man. It's kind of neat seeing all your stuff, right? You don't tame them just so they can sit in soul traps and stuff all the time. I like to have them out on display, man. Alright, so let's get back up here. I want to take a look and see about our other breeder. Oh, dude, I really hope it's safe here. Let's bring this back up, too. Coming up. You are. All right, so where are we at? Over here. So that's a regular one, okay? Wait, so that's a breeder. Why is that a breeder too? 89, 225. Interesting, 226. I'm not too sure. Does this... That has a mutation. So does this one. Oh, you know what? This is the... This isn't the breeder. That's the breeder. I think this one was the breeder at first. And then I changed it out for this one. Let's... Let's change the name on this one. Because, if you remember, I had quite a few of them. And I had them all set as breeders, and then I decided just to keep two. I think it was like three or four that we had. Let's put you over here, keep you separate. Ah, uh, dude, that sucks, man. What? Do they have regular saddles, I think, too? Hopefully we didn't lose a bunch of good saddles. Alright, so we're good. We still got a male and a female. 225 bred and a 226 bred. Ah, it makes me feel better. Well, I don't know, man. That was pretty messed up with what happened. I think we have enough stuff here. Let's go ahead and just make a replicator. I think we have enough stuff. Hopefully. We need some polymer. Ooh. Oh, I need 360 more. Oh, dude, I did not realize we need that much. All right, tell you what. Give me a few minutes. Let me run over. We are luckily right by the desert area. Kill a couple crabs, or not crabs, uh, prey mantis, and then we'll be able to at least make that, because I want to get the elevators set out today, the little tech ones. I think what we're going to end up doing is, I think right here, I'll replace these. One here, one there, and one on the top, and then we can just jump and get all the way up and down, because I'm not, I'm trying to get away from using Wingman too much, you know? I mean, we've had that problem with me and him, uh, <laughs> a lot lately. Where I haven't had them on me, and I've kind of fell off the side over here a lot. So I will see you back in a few minutes. You know, I'm not sure what is going on with the last couple of updates in this map, but dude, like, I couldn't find any... any manis anywhere over there in the desert. I had to go over by the volcano to get it. And then even with that, man, something's going on with everything being extremely laggy. My frame rate went down to, like, 30 over there for some reason. Like, just flying around normal. 
and the creature spawns are really weird. I had Rex that were spawning in packs of like five and six, and even Magmasaurs over there doing the same thing, but some of the other creatures are, are not spawning, so I don't know what's going on, man. We've got, I don't know how much we got, maybe three or four hundred. We got enough, I think. Hopefully we don't need too much extra because, dude, I tell you what, like I said, finding mantis are definitely not easy to do. I can't even drink water over here either. So, yeah, I don't know, man. Something is really, really buggy with this map. I still need to break that down, too. While we're here, how's your guys' food? Oh, you're doing fantastic. All right, now that it's almost nighttime again, let's head back over <laughs> and see about this. Oh, yeah, put a map up. A little bit of decorating, man, just to make it different. All right, so we need to go over here. Drop all this off before it spoils. One of you, please. Oh, fantastic. Repulsor plate. Oh, that might be something we could put down there, too. So that's supposed to throw you upwards. You change your strength. Okay, and then the angle as well. I don't know if that'll work for, like, an angle angle, like going diagonal. You can always make one. Wait, can all the S-plus stuff be made in here? Not everything. It's interesting that some of the things are... tech, and don't need the replicator. Say, what? Well, let's try... Oh, we're almost out of polymer, though. Don't tell me we can make it in here the whole time. Oh my gosh, we can make it in here the whole time! Dude, I thought we needed a replicator! Oh, we're making one, man. Absorbent substrate. substrate. We need 11. How many does one make? Six. Well, there we go. We have enough. Dude, I cannot, <laughs> cannot believe it. That is the main thing I am wanting to check out, is those little chibi displays. And this whole time, I could have just made them here. I mean, that's kind of expensive, though, for just one. And we'll have to see. I don't have any of the good chibis. I need to start trying to get some of them. All right, so where are we at? Let's grab a chibi. We have any that I really want to keep. I was going to throw the rest of these into... The forge and let them craft up. Maybe get one of the event ones. These are all just basic, I think. Party or expo, I tell you what. Let's, uh... <laughs> let's take him. Life of the party, man. Alright, cool. So what are you? Can you attach to the wall? You can't. So it's like a floor item. No snapping upwards. Okay. Let's leave you here for right now. We'll just do that. You know, I don't know what I expected. I mean, that's not exactly it, but I guess what we could do... Let me show you, too. So I went ahead and put the bunk beds up here. Where are we at? Right here. So I might be able to have the bunk beds, and then we'll do, like, a, a wall of chibis here. And some up over here, too. Maybe some by the doorways here to decorate that a little bit. That'd be kind of cool. It's kind of like a little trophy area. I'm not sure where to put our bed at, because... I just didn't think about it. Let's move, uh... Let's move Junior up here. Because down below, we don't have the doorways that stick out like this. That might be actually a good place for these right here. We can kind of keep one of every chibi. And just kind of line the walls. It'll go good with our trophy room up here, you know? Nice, man, nice. I don't know. I thought it was going to be something that would kind of attach to the wall, almost like a picture. And you could keep them there. I mean, that's kind of neat. All right, let's get the replicator out and then make some of our, our jump pads before we go. Let's pick you up. Put you in there. We'll just set it here, like I said, for right now. It'll be fine. Nothing like keeping a replicator in your back pocket, you know? 
<laughs> Just saying. All right, so. Tech elevator. So we want some of the triangle ones. And that is 60 for each one. Can I make three? Oh, I can. Dude, I did not think we had enough polymer to do that. So I'm hoping you can have three of them stacked, right, for all three floors. I don't know if that's possible or, you know, it just has two that you can use at a time. And then what I decided to put up on the top level is we're going to have flags from all the maps. And that's what we'll put around the outsides. I'll show you when we get up there. But that's what we'll put around the outsides of the base up there. Nice. There's those. Let's turn you off. I was thinking about doing it right here, but I'm always jumping in and out. Might be alright, though. It's kind of the best place because it's right by the door and I won't lose it. Alright, so that works like that. Let's head out here. Having problems jumping. Oh, you can. Oh, that is fantastic, man. Nice. And we can easily get back up to here. That's kind of what I need to set up down over there. I don't know where I would do it at because... I have to build a little area that goes out. That'd probably be the best bet, though, for getting up and down. Even if I did it over here. Off the side. Is there a beach around here? It's not. There's only beach over there. That might be the best bet for getting back up and down. I mean, it's, it's fairly quick, too. I don't know if we can build that repulsor plate. We can take a look real quick before we go. And see if that'll work. If that'll work, and we can angle it diagonal, I mean, that'll be an easy way to get up as well if it shoots you up high enough. Is there a reason I can't pull anything over there? Now, right, well, let's see. We just need 50 of the polymer. Maybe it has to be done in this. That's weird. It's not letting me pull at all. All right. Well, let me see if I can get all the resources together. We might not have enough polymer. All right, so I got one made. Let's go ahead and test it up here. I totally forgot that I could just make it up because I had a whole bunch of obsidian. That does not bounce high at all. And you take fall damage. Hmm. I said you can adjust the strength. Eleven. Is that the highest we can go? It is. Holy crap, dude. That is definitely... <gasps> don't kill me. Oh, please don't kill me. Well, this is a, this is an awkward situation. We've almost had death twice today now. <laughs> like a wingman, he's like, woo, free fall. <laughs> uh, dude, you better not let us die here. So we definitely need to tone that down a, a bunch, a bunch. All right. Oh, dude, you are going to drop us. I don't trust him. I don't trust him. All right, so 11. You, you, you never turn it up to 11. All right, let's pick you up. Put this back before somebody gets hurt. Let's grab a foundation. <laughs> Dude. Oh, man. Some days you just need to stay out of arc. That's that's all there is to it. We just need one stone foundation. Can I, have, can I just have one? All right. Let's go down. So I'm not going to have wingman with me all the time. We definitely need to have it at an angle. And you are coming with me. Just saying, we have no idea how this is going to work.
I just want to get thrown back up onto the island, right? I don't need to go up to base. I just need to go up onto the island. Alright, so adjust pitch. So there's 10. You're going to need to go a lot more. Minus 15. So that's going to be 25. So we can do roll as well. That should be good there. So that'll shoot us up over that way. So all we have to do now... Well, let's try... Is it because it's on... Dude, does it really have to be by itself? It can't be on a foundation? Ah, oh, boy, I tell you what. All right. I think that might be set. Let's see uh, See how it does. Okay, so it needs to go a little bit further. A little bit. Not 11. Let's try five. Almost. Almost. We're close. We need to adjust our, our pitch. Or the roll. I think the pitch. I don't know, man. That <laughs> thing's pretty cool, really. I mean, long as you have a wingman. Dude, if we didn't have a wingman, we would have died for sure. Alright, so... Pitch needs to go... I think 25. And then, as far as strength, let's go up 3. So, gotta remember, we're gonna be doing this without wingman. As if we're, like, on a boat again. That's gonna be too much. A little bit less. Maybe one less and we should be good on the strength all right let's try that i think we're set nice nice good almost too far <gasps> so that'll drop us right here we probably need to go back one on the pitch and that should be perfect man and that'll be a very easy way to get back up and down off of the ground down here i'll probably use that Oh, dude, we're about to die. I've been falling a little bit. I'll probably use this whenever we get built down here, too. Is it pitch? How's our health? We're, we're getting there. We're getting there. All right, last time. Nice. That is definitely going to work, man. So we'll leave it there. I'll fine-tune it later. We are a little bit shy on our health. <laughs> oh, dude, it has been a very weird day in Ark, man. I tell you what, it's it's kind of nice when it happens like that sometimes because you end up doing stuff you normally wouldn't. I mean, I wouldn't have made the replicator right now. Definitely wouldn't have tried that repulsor plate. And then the chibi thing. I've been wanting to do that for a long time. So overall, not too bad of a day. We lost some good teams today, though. That kind of sucks. I'm going to have to look up to see if there's a problem with the S Plus mod in Lost Island or what's going on. I mean, it's a good possibility, so we might have to give them some time to work it out before we do some boss fights. But we are going to go ahead and leave this one here. Hope you enjoyed the video, even though it was kind of a mess today. A lot of, <laughs> a lot of stuff went wrong, but some stuff went good. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.